Previously on Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. <laughs> That's bananas. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> did somebody say bananas? Did somebody say bagels? No, nobody did. Shut up, go away. And now back to pointing at people. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. We last left off, we completed the first case. Now we're getting on to a case you guys said is actually quite good. So, um, apparently the first, the first and third case aren't the best, and then the second and the fourth case are very good. Um, that's what you guys, at least there seems to be the general consensus. Um, although honestly, the first case wasn't that bad. I mean, it was, it was a tutorial case, you know? I mean, it teaches you how to play the game, and, uh, I don't know, it's, you know, it's gonna have probably fairly simple, although I did actually have a hard time with a few of them, but I mean, you know, solutions and, uh, I mean, I, I think I thought the whole amnesia thing was kind of stupid, but, I mean, I don't know. I, that's our bullshit plot device we're going to use to reintroduce all the game mechanics and everything, but that's fine. Apparently, also, I I, I said when I recorded, like, a year ago in my first video, I said, it's like, who would play this game before playing any of the other games? But apparently a lot of you guys actually said you this was the first game you played in the series. Um... So, you know, you, you needed that tutorial, otherwise you wouldn't have known how to play it. Uh, I guess it, it is kind of confusing, because this doesn't say, like, Phoenix Wright 2. It's just saying Justice for All. So, it's, it's I guess it is kind of, like, not exactly clear that this is a the sequel game. But, anyway. So, I think we're going to be flashing back to, like, a few months ago. To back when I re reunited with Maya. So, alright, I'm excited. Oh, and guess what? I remember to turn my volume down. That was no accident. Holy shit. Blazing. I was I was drugged with sleeping pills. Oh yeah. I was murdered by that person. Boom. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair. Isn't it? Any Eeny. Is that person's name? If I get to see you again, it. It's not your fault. You didn't do it. Oh. I for a second that we were flashing back to like when we when I first met her. Damn, damn it, Maya, you get you got yourself arrested again. Son of a bitch. It's not, it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. Oh, what did she get? Oh, she must have been. Pos she got possessed by like a spirit or something. I'm guessing. It, I'm guessing it wasn't uh, her sister, Mia, or whatever. I guess she must have got possessed by another spirit and went on a fucking rampage. <laughs> oh man, stupid supernat, stupid supernatural bullshit. Doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. Shit. I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. Episode 2, Reunion and Turnabout! So I love those turnabouts. June 16, 3.34 p.m. Right in co. <laughs> Law offices! <laughs> it's me, Moshrigan! <laughs> or Edgeworth, I don't know! Oh, god dang it, who are you supposed to be? I don't know, where did- <sighs> God dang it. I, like, I, I try to come up with new voices, as many new voices as I can, but... Uh... Uh, I don't, I don't know. I should give him an Edgeworth voice. I don't know if Edgeworth is even supposed to show up in this game. Oh, what a depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me, do you? Uh, I guess. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at the weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a we'll take a break with the day of sun. <laughs> Is what that girl said. I'd stick my life on it. <laughs> well, it's the weather. That's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve calling herself a weather girl? She's going to hear about my fifteen hundred dollar suit. Um, about your case. Was you planning on suing the weather girl? I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I am a surgeon. I mean, never to end up under his knife. <laughs> I will stab the fuck out of you. I'm here today because of this incident. I'll practice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 
<laughs> 14 impatients lose their lives. Holy shit. <laughs> we managed to capture this picture of this woman screaming as she discovers all the dead bodies. Oh, you're the doctor? It's really quite, quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Ah! Did you hear how upset I am? This is my angry Edgeworth voice. I'm, just, I'm trying to put like a different spin on the Edgeworth voice. Oh, by the way, you guys pointed out my, my voice for the other guy, the Wellington guy, ended up sort of sounding like Terror Terror in the end. You're right. Okay, I'm, I'm, I think this guy I'm going to try to stick with throw like a, a rougher, gruffer Edgeworth, if that's fucking possible, I guess. Yes, yes, I heard you. I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. The one that screwed up was that nurse, the one screaming in horror. <laughs> it was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, now listen good, and yet. <laughs> that nurse had the ner nerve to go and die before admitting to, do to her wrongdoing. She didn't even have offer any sort of explanation to me. This is, and this is the kicker. She, uh, she up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash Crunch! Instantly transforming her car into the accordion bottle. <laughs> like a motherfucking cartoon. Oops. That's right. But here you go, the tabloid shows were talking about it. 14 victims of medical malpractice and a nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that caused that crash. People said it was it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. <laughs> Shit. God, this guy is fidgety as fuck. Did you even get tied in those glasses of yours? <laughs> Why would I? Now, I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. Uh, I think you need to take a deep breath, doctor, and focus. And God damn, stop moving your glasses. I can't. They just they just won't stay. More to the point. This case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing... Nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. For me, I don't think I'd want to go either. <laughs> so, what would you like me to do about it? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, <laughs> see? <laughs> that? that was a weird fucking expression. <laughs> I crushed my hands down like a little spider monkey. I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Maya Fay, you know this girl, correct? Maya! What the hell, Maya? What do you do? <laughs> oh, that's right, I remember this weird girl with her weird hair. Maya! Maya, why would he know her, her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean, hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yeah. What the hell? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, uh, so I'm quite sure of. Well, we worked a few trials together. She went back to her hometown and undergo more training. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> is the weirdest fucking. What is he doing? <laughs> he just looks so evil when he does that. Ah, oh, yes. Damn you, He Man. Oh, yes, I heard. It must, must be lonely for you. What? Wait, I'm not. Ooh, ah, e. She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such ri rigid training. Huh? I'm an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Miss Maya? Really that famous? Damn. <laughs> I just thought she was a little weirdo. <laughs> My little goober friend. And I've already set up an appointment. For what? <laughs> what else? Ha <laughs> What else? What else? A channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Stupid, stupid slut. Oh. I see. So this is, okay. We're sort of the uh, prelude to what happens. So I'm guessing he calls upon her and he goes, Fuck that dick! And she murders the shit out of this dude. <laughs> I get the feeling I won't be using this voice for very long. <laughs> oh! Maya. I wonder what she's up to right now. Little weirdo. <laughs> We have women in the fake family of boys with spear mediums. <laughs> That's why we put our hair up in a little bun. She gets the power to communicate with the spirits so strongly through us. That's what she told me, I think. <laughs> unless, I was, <laughs> unless I was smoking some serious weed. I guess she learned to accept her responsibilities of becoming an adult. I guess. Apparently, she's, uh, apparently I guess that she's like 18 in this game or something, so. <laughs> she's so short. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. 
So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. You! You know that she wouldn't do it this channeling without first seeing you again. Me? Alright. <laughs> so I miss my little I miss my little buddy. And that is why I searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? <laughs> yes, but we should stop making the weird mannerisms. Oh, I can't. It's <laughs> I have Tourette's, so I just kinda go <laughs> Shit, fuck ass! <laughs> Sorry, they just kinda popped out. And so that is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with a doctor. Okay. So I went to her place. June 19th, 125 p.m. Crane Village. Ooh. Ooh, it's a big rock. So this is Crane Village, Maya's hometown. What? Ah. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, you're kind of cute looking. You get a little... What in the world is that on your head? It's not really a bun. It's like, like two little... Pigtails go in one direction. They form little donuts or something. You got double. <laughs> you got big <bigel> head. <laughs> I already like this person. Why, hello there. Okay. Huh. What an odd little girl. Uh. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Hmm. Someone else is coming this way. <laughs> oh. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> M M Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd you would show up. Oh my god, it's been so fucking long. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, I may have exaggerated just a little. <laughs> I mean, it, it took. It was literally five. It was actually just a five-minute walk, dude. <laughs> it was only two hours by train. If I knew you were this close, I'd visit more. No, nope, you're not allowed. I already said, you know. I'm telling you, I don't have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well. Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad your training is going well for you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I get to examine and talk and present and move and things. Ooh, I know what I can present. Hey, hey, Maya, remember this? Look! Uh, oh, it's good to see this torch bad again. Your grown up badge is back. You're gonna start showing it to everybody again, aren't you? Yes. Look, <laughs> look, Maya, I became an attorney. Wait, what you already attorney? <laughs> I became super attorney! Super Phoenix attorney! What do you mean by tarnished? Well, look, this bad is like every other. It's about to lose code, shot after years of, sh shot after years and years. But you know, polishing it up once in a while wouldn't be a bad idea. Shut up! I eat this for <laughs> I eat this every day for breakfast. And then I spin it back out because I remember I'll be like, shit, I need it. Yeah. Just until you're good. Now she's trained to be a spirit being yeah, Oh, yeah. 18. Okay, there you go. How's it going? Today's channeling. And so you finally become a full-fledged medium, taking it on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case. You hear the messy story behind it? Yeah. Behold, behold the power in my intelligence network. <laughs> behold my demon power. Let's see. 14 people died because of the malpractice on Dr. Grace Bar, right? And to be the blame on the nurse. He killed her when a baby a car accident. <laughs> she says with a big fucking smile on her face. <laughs> huh? Um, so what is this my intelligent network? <laughs> anyway. The the M I N. <laughs> the men. <laughs> the damn boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, I just bored you like Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard it all from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick! <laughs> I want to say Chris Killer is a client. That's too scary for me. <laughs> and I'm used to scary stuff, come on. Remember that Wolverine case? That shit was bananas. Yes, Wolverine. Huge Ackman. Was my client in the last game. It was awesome. <laughs> you should go watch it if you haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, this is your hometown, huh? Maya? Oh, yeah. Yep! Curry Village. Whatever people call this place. Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So, everyone that lives here is a spirit medium. Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were, were two, I think. That's probably true, since the fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. How many of you guys are there, anyway? I act like it's like a massive family, so is there like a whole bunch of you guys, or something? This is, is this a village devoted only to this family? I get a whole village for it? <laughs> Actually, only the women in this village are mediums. Oh, okay. So what do the men do? 
I used to work someplace outside a village. The girl earlier. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. You know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Yeah, <laughs> Pearly. It's funny. Pearly. Pearl Faye, she's my cousin. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Nah, yeah, she had the funny, the same funny little laugh that you did. Aw. Okay, cousin, all right. Isn't she adorable, just like yours truly? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> cousin? Wait, then that means... Oh, uh, okay, well, okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't really think about... It. For some reason, I was thinking, like, brothers and sisters, but... Cousin, wait, then that means... Is she also a... Yep, she's a medium, too. Really, she's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Nah. Oh, I see. I was not scared when I tried to talk to her earlier. No, it's not you. I'm drawing into her head that... If a suspicious person... person looking person tries to talk to you, run away. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> suspicious looking. I'm not suspicious looking. Just because I have Sonic style hair and a red tie and a blue suit all the time. I wear this suit every day and it smells a little funny. But I am not suspicious looking. Well, you're not wearing, tra wearing train clothes for starters. Of course not. Probably my most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. <laughs> oh. She didn't know what to do with the, outside wo the world outside of Korean Village. Uh. Where's mother's my aunt? Duh! Come on, Nick! Get him with it, Nick! Well, Nick, I've got to get going. What's time for the channel to start? Uh, oh, yeah, that thing. Do the channel in my house, so come on, come on in, okay? So I'm down with some, some juicy burgers. Mm. All right, good luck. Good luck, Maya. Trying to murder anybody. Thanks, but we already know I'm going to do it. <laughs> well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Nick. That's good. All right, let's go. To the meditation room. June 19th, Bay Manor, meditation room. Oh, Mr. Wright, I'm so, so, so glad you showed up. It's a nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? <laughs> no, not, no, not at all. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. <laughs> Shit, fuck, ass! Oh, sorry, that just popped out. Uh, and we're, we're in cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public air airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather is... This guy is just asking for punishment. <laughs> but anyway, this is a splendid manner. Argument there. It's hard to believe this is Maya's house, though. Damn. This place is bitchin'. You got fucking jacuzzi. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Ryan, I have a copy for you, too. Sweet! Ooh, I'm gonna put that in my pocket. With all my other cool stuff. Guide map. Meditation room, wind, winding way, side room, cha channeling chamber. Partial. Uh, okay, I guess. There's still more. Hey, look, man. Guy, I've <laughs> we've met before. Look, I've got a Corona badge. Look, here's my attorney's badge. <laughs> Are you trying to compete with me and my profession with that piece of scrap? Huh? Uh. I am a surgeon. Ah, shit, fuck ass. Hit titties. <laughs> Big fat booty, but don't get up. Sorry, that just popped out again. <clears throat> I'm a surgeon. Compared to you lawyers, I'm practically a saint. Yes, well, I don't exactly have any patience right now. But, uh, uh, listen, good. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the one that made that mistake. Seriously, I didn't murder everybody and shit like that. And then murder the doctor in her sleep. <laughs> I didn't hide the evidence under my floorboards. I mean, what am I? Wait, what, what did you say? Oh, where am I? <laughs> doctor needs his head examined. You also need, really, get those glasses tighter. I'm gonna fucking tighten them for you. Today's channeling. What are you gonna do once the nurse disappeared has been called? Isn't it obvious I'm going to have a right of sign confession? <laughs> Stupid slut. <laughs> sign confession? Yes, yeah, a confession. Pay attention, I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. <laughs> Because I suck at my job and everybody sucks. Dr. Gray is the best. I'm a weenie. Lulu, Lulu, the end. Shit, fuck, ass titties. I'm sorry and I apologize for being negligent. <laughs> That's what I'll have her right. Ah! When the confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. Yeah, because having a spirit right that is really going to probably save it. Look, the spirit of the dead person that everyone thinks I killed is <laughs> told me it's, a it's okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to kiss her coming here now. So, how did you hear about my fae? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the alcohol to the college. That girl introduced me to this village. 
This is the home of the Crane School of Channeling. I just, I just realized, are you flipping me off every time you put your glasses? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> oh, huh? <laughs> yeah, shit, ass. Oh, titties. Hey, Miss Myers, the daughter of the master. Master, I hear. Master. Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Myers' face aunt is in, in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Uh, sure. I don't see the rest of this weird family. Oh. Channeling chamber. Behold. Wow. So there's a strange atmosphere in here. Look at lights. It's a can I guess they're candles. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Good sir, who might you be? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, why? Why? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hi, I'm Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good, must be that good sir. Good sir? Is really you talking about me? I'm a good sir. Oh, he said I was an okay sir. You are a lawyer, are you not good sir? I have heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya? Ooh. I am Mr. Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. <laughs> I was about to say, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Mo Hello there, I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> When I first met Andy, <laughs> I'm working here at this <laughs> this temple hut, where I work on my narrating skills and also learn to channel the powers of the, of the afterlife. Because I'm Morgan Freeman, and that's what I do. Nice to meet you. Ah, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would be seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mr. Kaya performing your duties. Most of becoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That it was enough for Mystic Maya and her assistance, you surely would not have won. If the girl that runs away and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job? Fuck all you people! I'm awesome! I'm awesome! When did I become the post poster boy for how not to make a first impression? <laughs> the past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. I can tell I'm doing a great job. <laughs> I am so good at making first impressions. Hey, check this out! Look! Good sir! Ah, what is that? Mm. I am possessed. Good sir. Ah! Ah! We would like to begin the channeling at 3 o'clock. If you don't mind, good sir, would you mind allowing me to make preparations? Uh, um, sure. Go ahead. So, hey, she's a alright. She's as out as the rest. <laughs> Look at that hair. I didn't even, she didn't even comment on my fucking awesome badge. Damn it! Maya! So why do you add, add Mystic, Maya, Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Yes! How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? I, I'm sorry? She must be dressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya or I will fucking take you out and... I will take you out and fuck you in the streets! Um, um, okay, so about Mystic Maya, uh, oh. It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Ooh! I mean, the red stuff that is inside me right now? Mr. Clark carries the blood of the Master. In actual, she's the only remaining one. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mr. Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Karen channeling technique. Okay. Then, where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae family, I merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds for a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Koran school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the loneliness of my power to the master's. That's how it is. Shit sticks. The master of the powers, Morgan Freeman, the head of our, the head of our clan. Yes, it is I. Of course, I would be the one to be rule, to, to rule over the... The powers of the afterlife. <laughs> God damn it, Morgan Freeman. Is there anything you can't do? Mm, no. <laughs> so, today's channeling will be your first. Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a tragic accident is usually very strong, it is usually easier to call that person to our world. Tra traffic accident. Traffic, ac traffic accident indeed. <laughs> tragic tra- I gotcha. The channeling will take place here in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. By sipping this seemingly endless cup of whatever the fuck. It looks like a 
It was like a cup full of paint or something. Why am I drinking? Oh! Mmm, <laughs> lead poisoning. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> channeling chamber. So, this room is a uh, channeling chamber. This place is where spare me spare mediums speak with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observe the session. Do not even think of such nonsense. Foolish mortal! Only the medium and the climb enter here. Oh. Oh, okay. Great. So I'm not going to be in the room when I'm guessing Mai's going to come out and fucking stab Gray in the face or something. That, that dude's so toast. This, he's going to come back and be like, <laughs> he's going to make, yeah, Sir Simon, there's another thing here. And she's going to grab the pen and be like, I got a better idea. She takes the pen and shoves it right in his fucking face. He's like, ah, <laughs> damn, shouldn't have brought such a sharp utensil. Ah. The secrets of the Quran techniques can not be seen by just anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. <laughs> It's also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That's why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, you mean this one made of paper over here? <laughs> yes, that one. Oh, yeah, good. Ooh. <laughs> I feel safe now. Oh, that's what the lock, lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She's an adorable, angelic young girl. Yeah, little, the little goober right over there. Look how round her head is. She is like the... Her head is like a fucking perfect circle. <laughs> oh, that odd. She's my daughter. Now, then what was it you were about to say? Say it! Go ahead and say it! I will pour my scalding hot paint in your face! What a cute daughter you have! Ah! Your heart that knows not the evils of this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Oh. I like he's like, have you met her? I'd like it if you didn't. <laughs> Well, it's not like I had a chance to, chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you don't let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, hey you, hold on. This gal's, this gal's got a few questions to ask. Hmm, I'm sure I've heard that some southern accent somewhere before. Oh, God, you! <laughs> hey, it's me! Oh, God, it's, uh, uh... A lot of love or something. A lot of heart. A lot of heart, that's it. I'll be in Miss Fiend's right. How you been? I haven't seen you in what, what a year? Oh, uh, um, you are, uh, <laughs> a lot of hair. Who the fuck are you again? A lot of heart. You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo! I'm the one and only married over a lot of heart. God damn it, what are you doing here? Maybe you'll be the one to die instead. Uh, so I guess you're still at it, being a photographer, I mean. Of course. Dang, I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You ain't waiting to see, bitch. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. No time to be wasting time. <laughs> Channel's about to get started. Is that done already? We all hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on, bitch! A lot of heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. But, I guess looking back, we had some good times, too. <laughs> sort of. Uh, maybe not. Meditation room. We will now begin this channel. Miss Kamai and the honored guests, please proceed into the channeling chamber. <laughs> Shit, fuck, ass titties! Uh, I mean, uh, sorry. With this, with this, I could finally swallow those whiskey flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. Oh, titties, ass fuck. You wouldn't love to hear them. Apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Wouldn't you? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, I sure would. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I sure would love to see Mia and her big old titties again. <laughs> Mr. Ma, do you have the channeling chamber key? <laughs> yep, right here. Is your big green one? That is most satisfactory. It's the only keys we actually have, so yeah. <laughs> My keys are one of a kind, so please take care of us. Take care of it well. I'll be fine, I'm working. I won't lose it, trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray. Let's get started. <laughs> yeah. Uh, finally, let's go. Hi ho, Silver. Click. Ah, uh, I'm bored as fuck out here. Now I can hang out with you. Now let's waste patiently out here for them. Please have some lo lovely bitter green tea and jaw dropping these large strawberry scents. Hold on now, Granny! <laughs> <laughs> Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear madam, you. You have an impressive grasp of the English. Where did, from where did you learn it? <laughs> what? I'm from the heart of the heartland. What do you think, slut? <laughs> Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. 
What? What? What are you? What are you? This is Karen Villa. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we will request that you leave. <laughs> oh my god, what have you done, lot of heart? No! Ah! Sorry. Wow, shut a lot of up. Now that's impressive. Damn, I wish I could make my eyes. My eyes do that. Now then, let us wait. I was. Would you like some paint? No, I'm, I'm good. Bang! Hey now, what, what was that just now? Came from the inside of the channeling chamber. Bang! Well, that's a gunshot! Excuse me. Ooh. I thought that sound for it's a gunshot! I put my afro on! <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone knows what a fucking gunshot sounds like. Maya! Maya's in there! I'm gonna ask her just because she'll probably get fucking pissed at me. It's fake, what should we do? You look better, chicken liver? What are you waiting for? Kick it down already! But, the key! The key is one of a kind. In this world, there is only one. Only that one. Even I am powerless to open that door. Huh? There's really no other way? Alright. Stand aside, I'm gonna break the door down. Phoenix time. Huh? Wait, please. That sort of recklessness. Yeah, now's what I call- That's what I call being a man! Shut up, Lotta. Slam, bam, crash! <laughs> I knew you'd die, stupid asshole. Dr. Gray! Oh, whatever, I didn't really like him that much. <laughs> He's like, uh, titty ass fuck. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Click. I... <gasps> I was murdered. Oh, Maya, your boobs grew again. Ooh. And you've got blood on them. Maya. That man murdered me. So I killed him. What? Stop clicking, Lotta Heart. Lotta, at a time like this. I was like this is perfect for stopping up shots. Well, anyway, what's going on? What's going on here? This gal, she... Maya? Up. Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go, quickly, and inform the police. But, 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 but. Hurry, before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Let's leave this granny. She's gonna use her fucking superpowers. Doing 19, her and village. I still don't get reception way out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to, to call the police. And? They're on their way. That's good. Lordy, I saw a genuine, genuine mysterious ph phenomenon. Phenomenal. She really seems on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. What's going on? Damn. I mean, my boobs got huge. I mean, yeah, and people die too. Uh. What do you have to say about this? What you witnessed? Hey, Miss. Oh. Hey, Mister. That gal, my, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Yeah, probably. Oh yeah. I don't know whether, know that when Maya Shandling her physical appearance changes. Then again, when there are the only two of them in there, I reckon she must have done done it then. Uh, what what do you know about Doctor Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. I just wanted Jim with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff. His personality stinks like wet sheep. You're saying the weirdest shit. So we're gonna the same impression myself. He's really, he's really controlling. As soon as the nurse or his patients don't do what he says, he just starts hollering. He's like, blah, blah, blah. must have been real rough to work for him. Hey, Lord, I remember this. Look. Hey, they'll be here soon, right? At least I mean, I reckon you should be getting back to the crime scene now. Yeah, I guess so. Uh oh man, fuck that. I wanna show you my- No, you're not responding to my awesome grown-up badge! Look at it! Look how amazing it is! Alright, fine. To the meditation room again. Yes, yes, I know where I am. Stop telling me! Oh, Mr. Wright. Ah, oh, Miss Faye! How's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Uh, let me see her, please. She's still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait for outside for a recovery. So you just have to wait. Uh, blah. <laughs> the police are here! <laughs> and of course, the top detective is here too. That's me! <laughs> Dick Gumshoe. Say the day, see, pal. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, you again! <laughs> God, are you the only person that works as a detective in this town? Where are those other people from the other fifth case? 
Shut up. They didn't exist. <laughs> it was all in your head. Phoenix. What are you doing here all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, all right? Why is he grinning at me? <laughs> I'm always grinning. I'm always happy to be doing things. <laughs> I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Gum. Detective Jim Shoe. What, Jim Shoe? <laughs> um, my name isn't Jim Shoe. <laughs> Whatever. To the win, to the window of the channeling chamber. Because all I can do never now is see what everyone else has to say. Find out who was sitting in here. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there was someone, something sleeping here earlier. There's still a big lump there. Uh, like, how can I help you? Oh, ah! What the hell? <laughs> That's like the sound she's making with her lips. <laughs> like her mouth is just kind of open. She's puckered out going. <laughs> I can't understand what you're, I can't understand what you're saying. Um, uh, that is a, uh, I'm a dancing. Uh, I'm like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like the channeling. <laughs> channeling? Oh, 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 no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Uh, people are dead. Oh, like, what do you mean? Ooh. Please stay calm, but a murder is taking place like rappers are singing. Trying to stay calm. Arr! Um, so, like, a murder is a thing, the thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person is killing another person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, <laughs> no, that's not the word. Mm, maybe he's a, like a total, totally a bummer. Yeah. Troll it ever. That's all she has to say? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Itty Miny. Ooh, Itty. There's the Itty. Itty Miny Moo. Oh, Itty. Oh, Itty Miny Mo. Gotcha. <laughs> it's always some little thing. So, Itty, that's how you say. Itty. I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? Ooh, that's right. Um, I think people like usually call it occult studies or something. Ooh, like supernatural phenomena, ESP, and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty up there. But then again, you I can already tell you're that kind of person. I mean, he's right. Uh, attorney at law. Here's my corona badge. Yes. Let me show it. Behold! Like, I'm pretty sorry, but I'm not all that smart. Mm, you have not even able to tell. <laughs> yeah, you keep making these weird noises. So I don't like get it. Why does it feel like she's just putting on an act? <laughs> you probably killed him, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you do it? You did too, didn't you, dirty? You dirty whore. All right. What's that symbol mean on her shirt? Is it a person? A person who like got his part of his body severed or something? Eeny miny. So what brings you here today? I'm like you. I was the one who told Dr. Ray about this place. She asked me like, do you know of a good spirit medium? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she just looks so goofy. Look at her just shuffling in place. Wee, 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 now this time, woo. Hmm, <laughs> Dr. Ray didn't say something about being introduced to this place. It's like talking to dead people and like multiple personalities are my thing. I see, then why were you taking a nap here? Like I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm like allergic to sesame seeds. They like must have put some in the food they served for my for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So like I, I like felt sleep and came here to like sleep. Ooh, I feel totally feel like I wasted my time because I like slept a long time. Uh, okay. What happened? So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like what? Oh, that? I like totally know nothing. I was like, you know, just... So who was like, you know, killed? I was just over here shuffling in place for three hours. Certainly they requested the chair like Dr. Gray. <laughs> Shh, say anything, okay. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Oh. <laughs> what was that 
uh, one moment where you're biting your hat. Oh, I just feel a little hungry, man. Oh, really? That's not, that's not exactly what Dr. Gray said. Oh, well, uh, like a long, long time ago, I was like a patient, yeah, yeah. She's like she's trying to hide something. She sucks at lying. You suck. Back to winding way. There's no one here, as usual. Ah, oh, no, little goober. Ah. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you? Where did you come from, you little weirdo? Nick. You're Pearl, right? Hmm, sounds over. Oh, what well, you got in her hand? I've seen you somewhere before. Hmm. Uh. Hi there. Oh, wait. Let me show you my badass. My badass Corona badge. It's awesome. Everybody loves it. Um. Ah. What? What is it? Is it my hair? Is it new spiky? Not spiky enough? She. Oh, she just ran away. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. No, come back. Uh, can I go to the channeling room now? Channeling chamber. Where's the body go? We are busy running here and there. And I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey you, don't touch anything. Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like a, I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Don't you what, pal? I'd like you to ask me a few questions, alright? Oh wait, wait, wait. Wait, hey, hey Gumshoot, remember this? Oh, sweet mother god, don't you dare. Look! Ah, nobody has that, their funny responses to it anymore. <laughs> Look at later, pal. You can take a glance at it. Oh. Oh. I want people to react to it and be like, Why are you showing that to me, pal? Stupid asshole. I'm about Maya. I hate to bring this to you, pal, but with the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done this. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this, inside this room after all. Although I'm guessing now from, since I've already glimpsed the future, I mean, I got her off the hook somehow, so. Thanks for spoiling the ending for this for me, for me game. <laughs> but Maya is. You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. That yeah, gumshoe looks like a real professional. <laughs> and yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So look at that spiky, three, three little spikes on the tip of his head. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead, but... But? But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? After being stabbed, the final blow was a shot from, was a shot from a gun. Damn. Got rocked. All right. She's probably scared out of her wits after her. having a murder take place right near. Lada? Lada, don't scare me like that. <laughs> I was making a lot of heart sounds. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I wasn't so tough yet, you'd have another dead body in your hands. Mine! <laughs> I, thought was, I thought she was saying, I'm gonna fucking murder you. So, uh, you see your nose sending this stuck out of you? I will. Maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? I went and pooped in the corner there. Persons and ghosts and stuff come back to get you. This is too much, I say. What is too much? Being a photographer. That's some scary stuff. So I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. <laughs> so whatever photos more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh yeah! What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Oh yeah! Huh? Remember? I took some pictures of the, the murder, murder scene inside. Oh, she did! Do even! Ooh, gimme, gimme! Seance murder. I should like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Murder! Sorry, my journalistic sense is burning inside me. I hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops in the scoop of the century. <laughs> what, 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 what the hell is that for? <laughs> I don't know who's scarier, Lotta or the spirits. Why does it feel like we've been through this before? <laughs> Stay deja vu all over again, bitch. Back in I go. Meditation room. Oh dear, madam. You have such an impeccable timing. Ew, like what's the buzz? 
Ahem, all right, everyone, listen up, you too, pal. I'm gonna give you all a brief, brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until the re real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fae Manor tonight. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. I was arrested and taken away by the police. Ugh. I eat sesame seeds. Ugh, stupid weird girl making weird noises. I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. Oh yeah, there was a murder too. That sucked. Whatever. Nobody liked that guy anyway. June 28th, 8.02 a.m. Fae Manor Meditation Room. <laughs> Morning. I guess I should... Must have nodded off at some point. But mine's okay. I'm sure we can get to the to detention center. ASAP! Wow, that was fast. Damn, I run fast. In 2010-34 a.m. Detention center visitors, center visitors room. <laughs> nick, nick, nick. <laughs> God, how many times have you been in there? Seriously. I... Maya! What am I gonna do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Uh, I did. Not only because we flashed forward a bit. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Me, I'm sad now. <laughs> I believe it. The first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. <laughs> again. Finally, finally get to see you again. And it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. Might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I. I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the, the case yet, quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. <laughs> Aw. Am I looks my badge? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but this is really special about it. <laughs> Aw. Aw, you're making me sad. There's that cap in the room. That sa uh, not the same un... <laughs> Non-moving, not breathing cop. Channeling. So you're the master of, or something of the Koran school of channeling. Actually, my mother is for now. But since that time has passed from brother to daughter, I guess it will be someday. Maybe people think the channeling is real. That's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. I was channeling, channeling a spirit. Not only her voice, but her whole phys physical appearance changes. Her boobs get really big. It's awesome. Super supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. Look at them. Look at them hanging out. Happened this time, too. Dr. Ray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... My spy must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling, the channeling chamber? <laughs> I went in the room and Dr. Gray locked the door. He sat down across from him. <laughs> okay. Close your eyes. He starts saying some weird shit. It was like titties and ass and I don't know, some other stuff. And I began channeling. Sound kind of creepy. The beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit coming to my body, I lose myself. My consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing. When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. <laughs> and there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but I don't remember having a dream. A dream? Tell me about this dream, in quotation marks. What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but... I was dead and buried in the ground. Ooh. I couldn't move and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It was something like that. You, like, trace places with her or something? Would your conscience go to her body or something? I see. I have no idea what to say to that. It was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I smell that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I, I'm going to get gathered from t for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Oh, it was it. Document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. <laughs> but. What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. Besides, it's the judge. Come on, you know he fucks shit up all the time. Oh, you know what I do? Oh. But I did not kill that person with these two bare hands. With my two bare hands. I did not buy up. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you lose. I'm sure. Stop it! H help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Oh, don't worry. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I will. When is this? When is the trial? Oh, poor Maya. Sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. We are really fast at getting these fucking trials out, aren't we? <laughs> Normally, these trials take fucking months before they, like, they ever come around. But this game, we're like, you know, let's just do it, right? Let's do it the next day. Fuck it. All right, I'm going now. Wait. Huh? Did you... It's going ma ma Magatama. It's a matter of charm. It's always protecting me. Get us to burn it. I'm going to lend you your special powers. <laughs> okay. Looks like Lady Gumshoe isn't here today. She took his chances to thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Ah! Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I'm on my way to go meet Miss, Miss, Miss Maya. And I thought to, to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue and jaw dropping jaw droppingly large strawberry desserts. <laughs> <laughs> that is all we pretty much have here. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's missing my slut! Good sir! Uh, sorry. I'm not I'm not a slut, you're a slut! Shut up! She's one scary lady. Oh dear sweet Mr. Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as, as did I. No. It was important for me to search the site. But I should ask you some questions too. Well, I have the chance. What the fuck happened? Let me ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? Well, what happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Miss Kamai on the head. Huh? To make her go unconscious, correct? To make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Also, I was kind of scared of her, so I was just like... <laughs> back! Get back, bitch! <laughs> Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of the nurse that was inside of Miss Maya's body. He used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. Whatever this kind of testimony is even admissible in court law. By the way, what is the room? What is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an exper experienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt as you witnessed yesterday. Oh. The spirit medium is a medium about she loses her will and her and her self steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the, the medium's body, good sir. Is that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has a little problem controlling his spirit. Maya, I mean, Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. The door. However, I never thought that would be calling upon danger upon the client itself. I'm grateful that one of our hair heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident. Uh, that is. Is that folder screen there? It's the Quran sacred writings. Along with the Quran sacred urn, they are this village's most sacred, most treasured possessions. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one of them. Oh, the inhumanity. I would fuck some shit up. God, you really love that paint. <laughs> a cup of paint, don't you? You're damn right I do. Mm. Cause my hair all perf poofy. I've heard to be wearing out of the folding screen in a town like this. This isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, uh, how's, how's Pearl today? Mr. Wright. Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. And compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the special power to become a master. Whoa, alright. She's like, she's like the Anakin in this, in this game. Whoa, cool. The Metachlorians in her body are fucking bananas. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Vent Branch family have the thought of themselves to be inferior. But the world is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, even greater than some of the main family. This person, Channeling Party, is the pride of the Branch family. Wow, she's really fired up now. Oh! In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit. Good, sir. Quit? Quit what? Beautiful and expensive folding screens, and also looks quite old. Seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. No, oh, this is... Oh, it's a hole. Could this have been made by a bullet? Ooh. Folding screen onto the court record, okay. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell my eyes said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean, Miss Maya. I will tell her. I will tell this stupid infidel. Say hello to you. Uh. <laughs> oh, hey, Link, you're the guy from yesterday, the uh, dentist guy. Uh, no, no, I'm a fucking lawyer. <laughs> Look at me dancing. That's right, um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. I mean, fuck. <laughs> My name is Wright. Smith Wright. Well, I got like three letters in 
please? I don't think she gets the point. I'm just acting stupid. Anyway, why are you here? So look, I studied this thing called a pair of allergy, this grudge. Um, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. It was so like that. That's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay, like, it's really... That's it? Why did you stop in a sentence? Tell me right now. Did I? So you, like, what was I talking about again? If not everyone, another genuine mystery, mysterious phenomenon is right here. God, you're fucking stupid, aren't you? So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like the medium's training, or like how to inherit the spiritual power. I suppose this village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I had to fucking stay here for, like, a little longer. Sure seemed like the carefree type, at least on, on the surface. Yeah, I think she's just pretending to be this way, though. So, what happened? Have you heard about the, the murder? It's, like, totally scary. Look how scared I am. She says with a silly smile plaster in her face. So, do you know anything about it? That might help. Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. What in the hell is that? Huh, now, where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last time. Last night, looks like a box for storing clothes. It was pretty big for just clothes. It wasn't empty, but a few folded pieces of paper. Pieces of channeling costume sit at the bottom. We'll take a look at this. Behold, it is my Cronut badge. It's like one of those little badge people in the Congress somewhere. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. Lawyer. Mm, so is that what you are? Oh, there you are again. Hello. Oh, you surprised me. Neat. How are you today? Ooh, very interesting. Hmm, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? Still looking at something, something in her hand. Looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Oh, uh, no. Before she runs away. Look. My is Magatama. Look. Oh, yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Hey, talk to me. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh no, she's crying. Oh no. If Morgan sees it like this. I'll be the next one they're channeling. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. Wait, I already gave Maya my high voice though. What am I gonna give you? Um. Oh Jesus Christ. You're gonna have to go even higher, Nico. Higher. This. Oh God. I don't know if I can do that. Um. Oh Jesus Christ! It might break my voice. That's Mystic Bias! Huh? She, she actually spoke? Who are you? I'm I'm Phoenix Wright. Uh, I worked with Maya. You work with Mystic Maya? You, you're Mr. Nick, right? Um, excuse me? <laughs> but who she who she picked Nick for, up from? I know you are. You're you're Mystic Bias. That's <laughs> it's special somewhat. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> what? So then, of course, you're going to help Mr. Maya, are you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so cute and so funny. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> are you going to be enjoying me on my Avengers after this? Because that'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, she's like, I think I found a new little goober friend. Yay. I don't know. Actually, she's probably more of a nugget than a, than a goober. I think Maya's kind of a goober. She's like a little nugget. Her head is like, her head looks like a chicken nugget. The nurse, look at you. I'm crying your eyes. It must be true love. <laughs> what? What? Why am I being blown to a, br a bright red lobster by this little kid? <laughs> oh. I'm so jealous of missing Maya. Oh, what a wonderful relationship. Wait, I, uh, I mean, we aren't, things aren't like... <laughs> e, I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. <laughs> oh, okay, little buddy. Oh, hey, look, I got a, I got a, you want to look at my badge? I'm sure self will you in some way. I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. Oh, come on, I want to get a fun. I'm really deeply sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No, no, it's okay. 
Oh, you're just a nugget, aren't you? Should have shown you something so trivial anyway. Very sorry. It's just so weird talking to a kid like this. <laughs> Pearl. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? <laughs> I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mr. Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Well, I had no idea Maya was so revered. <laughs> I thought she was a little weirdo. <laughs> Usually people don't use... People, people don't use Mystic Maya's title. I get mad. Oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you were special to her. <laughs> That's funny. Where in the world did you get an idea like that? I wonder, is it... Are they supposed to be like, I mean... Is that gonna happen? Like, are they gonna like cook up or something in the end? That'd be kind of cute, wouldn't it? I mean, Mai's 18, so and Nick's probably not that much older than her. By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I study the Quran technique. Ah, oh, I get it. No, 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 no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. 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 <laughs> yep. Is that related to spirit beams in any way? Um, none of that, none that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? Oh, God. <coughs> oh, putting my wife's at high is hurting a little bit. Oh. Sorry, but I have no idea. I did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. What was that you got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm? If you want it, I can give it to you. Oh, uh, sure. All right, well, if you really want to give it to me. Eh, you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. <laughs> Jolly speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. <laughs> oh, great, okay, I was afraid. I was like, if I was going to take it, she'd get like, I don't know, shoot, like, what's your face would show up and be like, what are you doing? And like, rip my hand off. Um, Mr. Nick? Uh, yes, Pearls? Can I, I can call you that, right? You're too cute just to call Pearl. <laughs> I know, look at her little, little round nugget head. Oh. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magadama? Yeah, it's okay. I was still to give it to you. <laughs> but I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge the... Wait. All, all I really should do is charge this Magadama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Please take this. I'm sure it'll be helpful. Whoa. Ooh, it's glowing green now. Ooh. What do you mean? Don't let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yes. If it's all right with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the manga tell us about you when we meet someone's hiding a secret. Oh. Ooh. That's useful. Wow. Why did my do that shit for me earlier? That would have been really fucking helpful. Yay! Oh, I got a new little buddy now! Yay! <laughs> she's killing my- she's adorable and- she's adorable, but she's fucking killing my voice! <laughs> oh, It's like, I feel it. When I do that voice, I feel it right in my throat, like... Like I got like a- <laughs> Like her little nugget head is in my throat right now. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I might- <laughs> I might die from cuteness. Alright, let's go to the meditation room. Oh wait 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 wait! I should I should go back to the side room and talk to that chick. She probably get her. She's probably lying, right? Hey, it's you, pal. So you're gonna be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm really bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Let her gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not scary. Honest. <laughs> wow, never knew gumshoe. You're gonna like kids. <laughs> Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol. Zeta Gumtree, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, all right. <laughs> Can you dodge you, you doodle? What are you... <laughs> what about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we got a few pieces. You got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy, that puffy hair photographer is going to testify tomorrow. Oh, I must be doing a lot of... Actually, speaking of a lot of... Lots, lots hot pictures. Hot naked pictures. I wonder where your camera captured. Besides, you must realize by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than my fan could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? <laughs> Pearls. Uh, about Dr. Gray. 
The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. This was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year, and... Mm hmm? Huh? I could have sworn I had cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. <laughs> He's drinking through his pockets. And boy, are those big. Hmm, look like, look really interesting, too. <laughs> hmm, hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Undergrave might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Oh, all right. But my, but my is trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which one do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. All right, pal. Well, and prosecutor for the trial is prosecute. Oh my God, no! What? Well, the prosecutor for the trial is prosecutor von Karma. No! You've got to be shitting me. Wait, what? How is that? He should be in jail. Isn't he? <laughs> I'm back from the dead, assholes. <laughs> oh, dicks. <laughs> what is he doing back? This doesn't make any sense. He was the bad guy. He was the bad guy. What? Von Karma? Ugh. God, I am so sick of this stupid bullshit. Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. And he loved to squeeze his sleeve a lot. Ugh. You people are so stupid. I just want to smack all of you. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil hip he force fed me is something I'll never forget. Also, that time he tased me. <laughs> tased the fuck out of me. It, fe it was a very good day. A very good day for tasing. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Oh. Okay, I was like, I was just saying, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Successor? Who the fuck is that? So, um, who is his successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His, his kid became a prosecutor really young, like 13, and hasn't lost trial since. Oh, all right. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Oh, god damn it. Hmm, kid, huh? Wait a second. 13? They give me a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a prodigy like that. I would have. What have I heard something, something about? Oh, no, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. Oh, all right. I'll give it. I guess I'll give him another German accent. For some reason, he has the same voice as me, too. It's really, it's really bizarre. That country's got a lot of stuff and it's a great place to develop a person's talents, pal. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this this person. I've never heard of the country. <laughs> I'm still, uh, all it takes is someone mentioning the name von Karma to make my balls cringe. <laughs> I feel I feel shock at my balls. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. <laughs> oh hey, look, it's me. Oh. <laughs> oh, get out of my get out of my head, Edgeworth! Ooh, I'm in your mind. You're thinking about me, Phoenix. You're having dirty yowie thoughts about me. Oh god, the yowie! The yowie! Ah, oh, oh, my ear in my brain, too. Oh, get out of here. Oh, oh. So get over, Phoenix. That person's already gone. Oh, did I miss Edward, man? Yeah. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Uh, uh, oh, is he like totally cute? Is he like your daughter? What? No! Who do you think I am? Victim. All right. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. Ooh, here we go. Oh, well, what the fuck? Oh, what is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock of that person's heart. Holy shit! Whoa! Damn, Pearl, you're kind of badass. How'd you, how'd you do that? Huh? What? This is the power of the Mogatama. Oh, you can see these psych lo psyche locks, Mr. Nick. Psyche locks, huh? Ooh, that's cool. I've got, I've got superpowers now. Awesome. If person wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. There's only one. I think you can only see unlock it. Unlock? But how? You stick your finger in there. <laughs> I'm like, and then I come back to reality. I'm just like poking her boob. I'm like, uh, <laughs> okay, this isn't working. <laughs> This person, and let's reveal the lock. Oh, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting really fired.
fired up. <laughs> I'm going to show you my big burly muscles, Mr. Mr. Nick. I don't know what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. Let's be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the, the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this sucky lock thing a try. Oh, all right. Now see, this is a this is a lawyer office, isn't that cool, Pearl? Ooh, feels like I've been gone forever, but it's only been one day. <laughs> oh, that's right. There's that newspaper Dr. Gray bought brought the other day. Ah, oh, here it is, right on right on top of my desk. It's the only thing we've left behind that's going to be of any use, or any help. Okay, newspaper clipping. Let's give that a read. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died from the malpractice at Gray's Surgical Clinic. Look at him. Huh. Charlie, a quite, a, a, a quite decorative plant. It's a mentor of my boss, Mia, who passed away. The rest of the room may be shambles, but I always managed to care for this little fella. Nah, yeah, Charlie, I remember you. Booster of the TV action hero, the Steel Samurai. My, my stick up there right before she left. I wouldn't say that the Steel Samurai and an attorney's officer are a good match, but my threaten to curse me with some magic spell. So I guess I can stay. <laughs> I'm sure we want to see the article. Um, Dr. Gray brought, brought this over to my office the other day. And. Hey, it's that newspaper, it's that new story, the one about the malpractice suit. 40 patients died and caused a huge, huge stink. Yeah, that's it. That's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Mm, oh, here, here we go. I remember my own clipping with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. Oh, here we go. All right, thanks. Newspaper clipping. Mimi, me, oh, Mimi, my name, nurse at the Grace sur Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. Ah, here we go. Thanks, Gumshoe. No problem, pal. That's what I'm here for. Or to fuck shit up sometimes. So, oh, alright, I got my HP bar here, too. Damn, so, is this gonna carry over the trials, too? <laughs> so, wait, can this could actually kill me? <laughs> anyway, I believe you you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many names do you like, have to repeat myself? If you like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible that you've never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? Try to show that possibility existed for, for now. Take this! Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney? Miney's a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't be having to be a relative of yours, would she? Don't you notice? She just was my older sister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister was she? Was she a nurse? Perhaps a Doctor Gray Surgical Clinic? Ooh. Gray Surgical Clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Doctor Turner Gray. Which is how you knew the Doctor Gray. You you knew him through your sister. Ooh. Boom. Fuck those chains. Unlock successful. Yes! That's a new thing. That's kind of cool, though. So tell me! Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. Ooh, that was your sister? <laughs> yeah. She looks kind of evil. My, my sister's name is Mimi Miney. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's cleaning. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like, a total slave driver. My sister was like, always oh, coming home and totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? Is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? A girl like drew my sister so hard, so like, that's where, why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice. You like, I think it was the doctor's fault too. My sister was pushed by like, everyone's expectations and like, her duties and stuff. And they pushed her to, to death. Oh, I'm sorry. She says with her goofy face. So like, are we done? I feel like I already told my story to like everyone. You understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psyche lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock, lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. 
You don't have enough proof. Be careful and know when to stop trying. Wow. All right, cool. That's, uh, that's like a new thing. All right, uh, am I done? Mr. Nick? Huh? What's wrong? I've never left Karam Village. Really? Well, we just left like two seconds ago, didn't we? <laughs> well, that's, um, that's pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Oh, uh, hey, wait! She ran off. Again. Well, I know it's e any secret now, but... I still don't have any ide idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with, with a smile or a straight face. Uh. Uh. Do the detention center. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Uh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it must be Maya. Oh. No, it's... It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? It's fucking Mia. Oh, ah, that voice. It's... Mia Boobs! Oh, Mia's! I missed... Oh, my God, I missed your boobs so much. I know, Phoenix, I know. Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Yes. Oh, my God, my boobs are just... Ah, over the damn place. Mia, she's my older sister and my mentor. She had the greatest rack of any any lawyer in town. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to my help, just like this. I'm fucking good. Her spear comes back from the other other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. For a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your in front of your client. Uh. Lawyers so do smiles, no matter how bit how bad it gets, especially when it's bad. <laughs> Wait, no. No matter how how bad it gets, especially when it's bad. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Mia. Can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show climb, Phoenix. But! <laughs> no butts. No big, fat, fat butts or boobs. So tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. God, these... <laughs> me and my freaking siblings. I told her everything about what happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes and deep in thought while she listened. Like, mm. I see. Mia, what, what am I supposed to do? You're fucked. <laughs> it's pretty clear what, what a good lawyer does in that situation. And then it's tell me, please! Believe in your convictions and fight for the the complete acquittal of your client. Damn straight. Not not guilty. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes? Mediums can't have, have dreams. Can't have dreams? Oh? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. So I'm guessing she must have switched bodies with the other girl or something. So she didn't. So she was in the ground, like as the other person. The other person took her body and she took her body. So then she really wasn't there at all. Yeah, she said she, had, she dreamed that she had done and been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from, from her, I'm sure. What a, me what a medium channels her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then what does this mean? I think it's safe to, to bet that Maya was a setup. Set up. It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how, how she was set up. Evidence? Oh? How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It, it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. Really? You know, the, like, literal key, it's in your hand. Come on, show me the key into this case. The key, huh? Oh, show it to her, the key I hold. Look. Behold! Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, uh, the key. That's literally the key to the understanding of everything that's happened happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. Huh? What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be this the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. Maya had the key, and then somehow Pearl got the key? You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. Fare thee well. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have? At the time, I didn't know. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. Blah. Oh. What the, what the balls. 
Mia, what the? What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the psyche locks. But she's hiding something, and so I have to break it out of her, too? Whoa. She got a lot of which means Mia must know something about the real murder. For this to be something that she would hide under, under lock and keep from even me. What in the world is going on? Whoa! What the bananas is happening? To be continued. Damn, that was a long section. That went on for a really long time. Nearly broke my fucking voice. Oh my god. Oh, that was really painful. <laughs> Actually. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it here for now. Uh, like for if you enjoy, subscribe now. I'm coming pinky pinky one aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. <laughs> oh, bro, so cute though. I'm so glad I have a little, a little, uh, little goober friend. Um, but anyway, till next time, guys. Stay classy.